The first overseas deployment of the Vermont Air National Guard's F-35 fighter jets will have the pilots and their aircraft patrolling the skies of Europe during one of the most tense periods in recent history. More than 200 Vermont Air Guard personnel, their equipment and eight F-35s are now in Europe, where the pilots will fly what are called enhanced air policing missions along NATO's eastern flank to monitor the area for intrusions by Russian aircraft. The deployment marks the first time the Vermont Air National Guard, the first guard unit in the country to fly the F-35s, has deployed overseas with the Air Force's newest airplane. The deployment comes only months after the Vermont Guard had completed its conversion from the F-16 fighter planes they used to fly to the F-35s. We're there to defend NATO, said F-35 pilot LT. Call John Rocky McRae a squadron commander within the Vermont Guard's 158th Fighter Wing. We're not there to be aggressive or start anything. We're there to posture in defense of NATO and support our allies. Call John Rocky McRae, a squadron commander within the Vermont Guard's 158th Fighter Wing. We're not there to be aggressive or start anything. We're there to posture in defense of NATO and support our allies. NATO, the military alliance of 30 countries from Europe, the United States and Canada, was created in the aftermath of World War II to counter the military threat from the former Soviet Union. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has highlighted the modern importance of the alliance. NATO says the enhanced air policing mission is part of a broader series of measures introduced after Russia's 2014 annexation of the Crimean Peninsula from Ukraine. It involves a continuous presence of fighter aircraft and crews who are ready to react to possible airspace violations. On April 29th, NATO reported jets scrambled in the preceding days to track and intercept Russian aircraft in the Baltic and Black Sea regions. The Russian aircraft which often do not transmit a radio code indicating their position and altitude, do not file flight plans, nor do they communicate with air traffic controllers, NATO says. The Alliance said that the Russian aircraft never entered NATO airspace and that the interceptions were conducted in a safe and routine manner. The Vermont aircraft now in Europe are replacing F-35s from Hill Air Force Base in Utah, which arrived in Europe in February, just before the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Shepard said it highlights how the role of the Air National Guard has evolved over the years from a time when Guard units received old equipment to where it is now, playing a regular role in Air Force deployments with the newest equipment available. The Air Force describes the F-35 as its fifth-generation fighter that combines stealth technology with the ability to carry out multiple missions. Different models are being built for the Air Force, Navy, and Marines, and the jets are being sold to U.S. allies across the world. McRae, the Vermont F-35 pilot and a combat veteran of flying in Iraq and Syria making his seventh deployment downplayed how pilots could feel flying such missions when the tension between NATO and the Russians are at one of the highest points in recent memory. He said they are trained for any eventuality. But Shepard, a combat veteran of Vietnam, said that he was sure the Vermont pilots and other personnel know how important the mission is and that they will be briefed on the conditions. The pilots know they are not supposed to do anything provocative. Everybody knows we are able to defend ourselves if anything bad happens, Shepard said. But you don't want to be the guy that causes World War III. 